Hi, welcome to the first lecture of KIN 360, Physical Growth and Motor Behavior. My name is Mika Padmanabhan and I'll be your instructor for the semester. And this lecture is just to serve as an overview of how this course is going to go. So let's start with a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Mika. I am a second year PhD student in the Cognitive and Motor Neuroscience concentration of kinesiology with a focus in motor development. I'm originally from Northern California, the San Jose Bay Area, and I got my bachelor's in kinesiology at Cal Poly. I also played tennis for Cal Poly when I was there. Regarding the course, this course is going to be a basic overview of physical growth, maturation, and motor development that takes place across the lifespan. We do have a majority of focus on early childhood, so how children acquire the basic motor skills such as walking, reaching, jumping, so on and so forth. The way that this course is set up is that it is a full semester course for the full summer and it runs from May 16th all the way until August 19th. There are six modules posted on D2L that are each two to three weeks long. The modules open Monday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and close Sunday midnight at Eastern Standard Time as well. And the dates and exact times are outlined in the syllabus. You can take a look at that if you have any questions. We have two exams and a final. The midterms cover two modules and they are short answer midterms. The exams will take place Wednesday at 10 a.m. after the second module closes. You can see the syllabus for the specific dates. And one thing to keep in mind is that the only excuse that I will take to reschedule an exam for someone is a valid medical note from a doctor presented to me at least 24 hours prior to the date of the exam so that I can make arrangements for you. Family vacation or I have work is not really going to serve as an excuse. One more thing about the exams, the final exam is comprehensive and that will be multiple choice and short answer. And we'll again, we'll discuss the details of the exam and what to expect closer to the time when it comes. In addition to the exams, you will also have assignments and quizzes. Each module has multiple assignments and one quiz that are all due at the end of the module. The class is entirely self-paced, so the module will open up and you have until the end of the closing of the module to finish the assignments and the quizzes and submit the assignments on Dropbox. If you have any questions regarding what entails the assignment or anything regarding lecture or anything at all, feel free to email me and I will answer within 48 hours. For assignment specific and quiz specific questions, email me at least 48 hours prior to the due date of the assignment and quiz so that you have adequate time to finish the assignment once I email back. I also have outlined how I want you to address emails in the syllabus, so please take a look at that as well. You also have a final project in this course that consists of three parts, a proposal, a project, and a written report. The proposal, you will pick a developmental stage, an aspect of motor development, and gather some basic information about this. The second part, you'll present the information. And the third part is the written report where you will write up what you presented and reflect on what you've learned from the project. There is a rubric under a module called Final Project in D2L and you can look at the details of what the expectations are for each of the sections as well as the rubric that exists for the project. And again, I will address this more closer to when each of the parts of the project are due. And if you have any further questions after looking at the module, please feel free to email me and I will get back to you. Grades. So the assignment modules are 25 points for the assignments in each module. You have six modules for a total of 150 points. For our quizzes, we have six quizzes that we're taking, but only five of them count. So if you miss a quiz or you do very poorly on one, it will not count against you. Exams, 
60 points for each of the short answer midterms and 80 points for the multiple choice and short answer final together. The final project is also broken down to be a total of 100 points with 10 for the proposal, 50 for the actual project, and 40 points for the written report. The total points in this class is 500. To break this down to figure out what grade point you're going to get for this course, I have the points outlined in the left hand column and the percent and the grade. So you can take a look at this yourself and figure out what point scheme you need in order to 4.35 3 point this course. The grades are pretty rigid, meaning that if you have 464 points, please do not email me at the end of the semester asking for a 4 point. I have it outlined here that you will be getting a 3.5. Alright, so as we're wrapping up this little intro lecture, for the rest of this module, you have two more lectures that outline the basics of motor development, going over basic definitions and some theories and perspectives. You also have two assignments. The first one is just an introduction in the forum, and the second one is the motor milestones assignment, which is a fun one. In addition to this, you also have a quiz that's 10 multiple choice or true false with a 30 minute time limit. Again, if you have any questions at all throughout the semester or about what you have to do for assignments, modules, quizzes, etc., please feel free to shoot me an email or post in the discussion forum and I will get back to you within 48 hours. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next lecture. Have a good rest of your day.